Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw Luigi. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the head. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a cup, a lid, or anything else with a circular edge. Below the circle, off to the right, make a small mark to indicate the lower half of the head. Don't place the mark too close to the circle or Luigi's head will be too short. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to complete the guide for the head. Place this line slightly to the right of center. Inside the circle, close to the bottom, draw a long horizontal line. This is a construction guide that will help you place the facial features later on. Curve the line so that it contours to the shape of the circle. Now draw a long vertical line across the entire head for another construction guide. Draw the vertical line close to the right edge of the head. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. On the right side of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the nose. Make two more small marks on the top and bottom to indicate the length of the nose. Now connect the marks using curved lines to finish the circular shape of the nose. The left side of the nose should end at the vertical construction guide. Don't connect the nose on the left side. Sketch lightly at first, and when you get the shape of the nose right, darken the line. On top of the horizontal guide, lightly sketch a small oval for the first eye. Place the oval to the left of the vertical construction guide. Sketch the oval lightly at first, and when you get the size and position right, darken the shape. To the right of the vertical guide, draw a smaller oval for the other eye. The eye on the right is basically a small arc on top of the nose. Inside the eyes, draw smaller ovals for the irises. Place the irises on the lower left side of the eyes. Each oval is actually made up of a short curved line. In the middle of the irises, draw even smaller ovals for the pupils. The pupil and iris on the right will be partially blocked by the nose. Inside the pupils, at the top, draw tiny circles for highlights. Shade the pupils, but don't overlap the tiny highlight circles. On top of the eye on the left, draw a small curved shape for the first eyebrow. Place the eyebrow to the left of the vertical construction guide. The shape of the eyebrow should be similar to a crescent moon on its side. Sketch lightly at first and when you get the shape right, darken the eyebrow. Pay attention to how high above the eye you place the eyebrow. To the right, draw a smaller crescent moon shape for the other eyebrow. To the left of the nose, draw a sloping line for the first part of the mustache. Extend the line slightly farther to the left than the eye. Below that, draw a longer curved line for the bottom part of the mustache. This line should curve down and to the right and then slightly upward at the vertical construction guide. To the right, draw a shorter line that curves up to the nose for the other side of the mustache. Under the mustache, draw a short horizontal line for the first part of the open mouth. Under the line, draw a longer U-shaped line for the bottom half of the open mouth.
Inside the mouth, draw a short line at the top for the teeth and a curved line at the bottom for the tongue. Below the mouth, draw a short curved line for the bottom lip. On the left side of the head, draw a big curved line for the ear. This line should be similar to the letter C. Start the line at the horizontal guide and end it on the lower half of the head. Inside the shape, draw a couple of short curved lines to give the ear more structure. Now draw a long sloping line from the ear to the top right side of the head for the first part of the hat. Place the top part of this line just above the eyebrows. At the top, continue to draw this line to the right and then curve it down into the left back to the head to create the bill on the hat. The bill on the hat is pretty short, so don't extend this line too far to the right. To the left of the eyebrow on the left, draw a short curved line for the side of the bill. To the right, draw a line that slopes up for the front edge of the bill. Add a shorter line at the bottom for the base of the bill. High above the head, make a small mark to indicate the top of the hat. Now connect the mark to the top part of the bill using a curved line to create the front part of the hat. On the left side, draw a longer line that slopes down to finish the top of the hat. At the bottom, add an extra curved line for the back of the hat. On top of the bill, draw an oval-like shape for the logo. This shape should be similar to a small arc on top of the bill. Inside the shape, draw a bold letter L. The bold L is basically made up of two letter L's stacked up on top of each other. Now darken the edges of the initial guides to create the shape of the head. Darken only part of the guide at the bottom to create the chin. On the left side, draw a vertical line along the initial guide to create the neck. Add a shorter line under the chin for the other side of the neck. To the right of the ear, draw a long curved shape for the sideburn. The bottom of the sideburn should touch the lower edge of the initial circle. Make the middle section of the sideburn thin and the top and bottom wide. On the left side of the neck, draw a couple of short curved lines for the back of the hair. Now go over the final lines with a pen, a marker, or any other type of permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video won't be too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Use yellow green for the hat and peach for the skin. Color the eyebrows black and the eyes blue. Use light brown for the hair and dark brown for the mustache. The inside of the mouth should be dark red and the tongue pink. And that's it for Luigi. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also please visit easydrawingtutorials.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching and until next time, keep drawing.